Hi all, welcome to another session on AI Builder. As we all know, AI Builder is a power platform capability that provides us with AI models to take leverage of the artificial intelligence to optimize our business processes. We can either use the already existing pre-built models or we can create our own custom AI models so that it actually suits our specific business needs. We do have multiple out-of-the-box pre-built models available for AI Builder like the business card reader, category classification, key phrase extraction, receipt processing, sentiment analysis, text recognition, etc. In this video, we will be seeing how to use the invoice processing AI Builder model to extract key invoice data from the invoice file. So the business requirement or the business use case that we will be using is that uh, the invoices will be uploaded to SharePoint document library called the invoice library which will trigger a Power Automate that will extract the invoice data from the uploaded file and it will store it within another list which contains the columns like invoice ID, subtotal, total tax, total amount, due date and billing address. All this column information will be extracted from the uploaded invoice data using the AI model and we will be uploading the data to this list so that we can use it for housekeeping in the backend. So we'll head over to Power Automate and create a automated cloud for using the when a file is created trigger so that we can initiate the flow whenever the invoice is uploaded to the SharePoint document library. We will specify the library name as well. And the next step will be to get the file content so that we can extract the content from the invoice uh, file. And we will be specifying the SharePoint site as well as the file identifier so for identifier, we'll have the dynamic content from the previous action. Now that once we have the data using the get file content, we will be using it and passing it as an input to the extract information from invoices AI model. Just one thing to notice that we'll be using the base64 formatted content as the input to the AI model. So we'll just use the expression base64 and pass in the output of the previous get file content so that we will be passing in as the base64 formatted content to the AI model for further processing. Click on OK. Now this action while running will give us uh, outputs like almost like 50 plus different outputs uh, related to the captured invoice data from the uploaded file. Now we can see like how it will work uh, by adding another action called the create item and we will be fetching the extracted details from the previous action and we will be storing it in the SharePoint list. So we will specify the list name to which we will be storing it. So the title we will use the title of the uploaded file and in the invoice ID we will use the ID that has been extracted from the invoice. As we can see there are like a lot of invoice details that has been extracted using the AI model from the uploaded file. So we will just search for the invoice ID and we will save it into the column same way like we will search for subtotal and we'll save it and same goes with uh, total tax and we'll also get the total amount of the invoice finally we'll also get the due date and billing address thus we have uh, extracted the required information that we want to be saved to the SharePoint list. If you want to have more data extracted from the invoice, we can have uh, more of this saved to corresponding columns in the SharePoint backend list. But for now, we have just uh, used uh, some of the already existing available uh, extracted information from the AI model for saving it to the backend. So let's go ahead and save it. And we have saved the flow right now. So in this test, we will head over to the document library where we are hosting the invoices and we will upload an invoice. Now that the invoice has been uploaded, ideally the workflow should have been triggered right now and the AI model should extract the data and populate our SharePoint list. So we can see that the Power Automate has run successfully. And if we expand the extract information from invoices action, you can see that it has written a bunch of information extracted from our uploaded invoice like the billing address, customer name, uh, the due date, uh, the invoice date, etc. Uh, we'll just uh, go ahead and see the SharePoint uh, list and we can see that the invoice ID, total tax and total amount and due date and billing address have been saved back which has been extracted from the invoice to the SharePoint list as well. So 
We saw like how the AI model, how it helps in extracting information from an uploaded invoice PDF. So we'll come up with more examples on AI well to see how we can actually use it in our day-to-day -day business scenarios. So thanks all for watching. We will see you soon in another video.